Hey, good morning, you too. Hey, listen, I have not made a video in a while. Again, I apologize. Life has got in the way, but that's okay. Today, we are continuing on with a different kind of unique little series here where uh, we're going to go visit my old motor. Yeah. I miss it. Actually, that's not it at all. So check this out. The gentleman I stole my old motor to had a very interesting and unique story that I just thought I would take a second to share with you guys. And um, he has taken my old motor and uh, putting it in a McLaren, ASC McLaren 86 Mustang user storing. They are super, super rare. And to be honest, I know nothing about them. I've never seen one. But the old heart is going to live on pretty rare car and that's pretty cool this guy is actually pretty local um, he's restoring it at his brother's shop we're gonna go over to his brother's shop they have some wiring questions he is man this guy is put up to a ton of challenges let's just put it this way I'm glad this gentleman named Ted is Ted and not Mike because he has challenges ahead of him that not everybody can tackle so I applaud him for doing what he's doing this car is stripped um, I don't know the condition of it pretty much I think it's a pretty pretty stripped to bare nothing stage and he's having to source everything for this car to build it um, he's having to source wiring harnesses of course the motor um, he's got to get everything from an 86 so that it matches so got my uh, cup of coffee here in my Risky's, Risky's cup and uh, let's go take a ride <laughs> But I am going to bring him a uh, bring him my 86 ECU. He needs this. I actually need this screw for it. But um, yeah, I'll tell you what, guys, I have no need for this. I could definitely sell it, but I don't think so. He's already bought the motor, and um, he needs this more than I do. He's converting it back to uh, fuel injection. I think it may have been cut up for carburetor, so he's going to need this. We'll take it with us. All right, folks, we've arrived at Aero Wind Tech. This is Ted. Hey. Pleasure to meet you again, going? Ted. Hey. Good to see you. That's your brother Mike just pulled up here. Yep. What's up? Howdy. <laughs> hey, you're on You're on camera, man. Oh. J just like that. You don't even get a chance. It's good to Hi, see everybody. you. everybody. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, this is my brother Mike Landon. Uh, my name is Ted Landon. Uh, I uh, became... Uh, Good friends with Mike, uh, working on, we have uh, a knack for, uh, and a hobby of Fox bodies in common, so I've got a uh, 1985 ASC McLaren uh, that is pretty rare Fox body, they're, they're very tough to find. I had an 86, just like Mike's, and uh, I had restored it, and then I sold it, and then I took that money, and I went straight away, and I got the, uh, got the ASC McLaren, so... You guys can check it out, I guess. You're it's a rare car, man. It's very rare. Yeah. I've never seen one. There's only this will be the first time I've yeah, seen one. Yeah, we can so. go here and check it out. And then there's another surprise in here. I pulled the uh, I pulled the Cougar out, Mike. So <laughs> get a little free free pub on the Cougar. Oh, did. did he say Cougar? Yeah. Uh. There's a. So what? It, what year is oh, it? Oh man. Sixty-eight. Oh. Oh, that is awesome, guys. Oh. Fire right up though. That sounds great. Got, cool. Got the uh, panels up in the back, and I, I put that stuff in there. It needs to go on the car, but it's still working on it. Sure, that is for sale. It is for sale. You guys know anybody that wants it? For sale. It, man, I mean, the first thing I notice is rust. It looks really solid, man. I don't see any. Yeah, the body. I don't see any rust on it. Yeah, the body looks pretty good. So. Because these cars rust, they'll start rusting here. Yeah. Here, particularly, there's almost always rust right through here. And there is a paint bubble. It's not even a rust bubble, it looks like. Yeah. Anyways, we're not here to see the Cougar, though. 
It's yeah, not. It, I got the, highly the distracted. Is, the tail is the cougar tail, so. Yep. That's what I understand. Yeah, that's like an eliminator tail. That's solid, damn. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Straight. Well, this, this car was the genesis of a designer at, at Ford, and his name was Peter Muscat, I guess how you say his name? Okay. So, you good, Mike? Yeah. So, Peter Muscat was like the designer of your 86. So okay. What happened is his wife worked at the same uh, plant, and just like in any of the big car plants, you know, even here in Arlington, if you don't drive the if you don't drive the manufacturer vehicle, so you don't drive a GM, you drive a Ford, you don't get to park close to the building. Uh -huh. So the same thing. Yeah, here, they, they so, shun you. <laughs> so uh, Peter Muscat's wife drove a Mercedes 380 SEL, and so she had in you know in the cold weather she had to park really far out in the parking lot, and so she. Walked in one day, went to her husband, they both worked the same place, I guess, and complained to him and said, you know, I'm tired of having to walk in the cold weather <laughs> to get inside the building. You need, she just kind of said it off the cuff, you need to make a two-seater Mustang that, um, a two-seater Mustang that, you know, is like a Mercedes. And so you can go back and read articles about this car, and it talks about when Mercedes meets Mercury, okay? And they originally, so they did a 79 prototype, which was a Mustang. It was a two-seater. It was a two-seater convertible. And they did that, and they presented it to Edsel, uh, Edsel Ford, yeah. the great-grandson of, of Henry Ford. And he loved it. He was, like, really excited about it. And so he was, like, telling the designers and everybody, go ahead, let's start doing a two-seater convertible. And then, you know, all the executives guys got together, and they said, hold on a second, wait, 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 because... We don't have enough foot traffic in the Lincoln Mercury dealerships. We don't have enough people coming in and out. Yeah. We're not selling enough cars. In fact, Mercedes is eating our lunch. So they said, well, why don't we take this body style, which this body, if you see the fender wells are different. This is a Capri, right? It's a Capri, Yep. right? But they were arguing about this body style as well. They wanted this body to be uh, on the 80, I think the 84, 85, you know, those years. They actually, you know, the fenders are different. Yep. Yeah, definitely got the Capri fenders. So then they said, well, you know what? Let's let's come up with something that we can put on the showroom floor that we can generate foot traffic. So they built this car as a hard top. It was a hard top with the bubble, the bubble uh, hatch in the back. And then after it came off the assembly line, they sent it over to um, they sent it over to ASC, which you can see sitting around here. It's a little bit wore out. They sent to ASC American Specialty Company. Now, it was actually called American Sunroof Company, and then they changed their name to American Especially Specialty Company. When they started doing these conversions, I guess. Yeah, so they started doing the conversions. Yeah. And so you look inside, you know, of course, my brother and I, we got it all tore apart, or my brother Mike's got it tore apart. And it's kind of, let me take this, oh, this, yeah. this That's, cover right here. So you can see it's that completely the, unique. The, door, the door panels are unique. The back is, the, the complete center of the car is completely yeah. redone. So, you know, this... Now look at the bracing, at, yeah, the bracing added for all the... Your center console here is completely unique. You can actually unique. see where they did some reinforcement up here near the firewall. Okay. So they did that. You know, it's got the leather-wrapped steering wheel, leather-wrapped gear right. shift. Now, we've got the whole interior out right now, but it has Recaro seats that have speakers built into it. Rear it, seat delete, you know. That's, yeah, it's a, it's a you yep. know, conversion rear seat delete. Yep. But, um... So they did all that. They did, you know, they made it a two-seater. They put this top on it, and if you look at it, people that are familiar with the Mercedes back in the day, that's pretty much the same top. Same top. The Mercedes. And these ADS folded stuff. flush with a, with a, I guess, some sort of a Lando top, right? They hit yeah, it. Yeah. So it's. They a, were flush, it's, it's right? A manual top. There you go. Yep. And then there is, uh, of course, we don't have any power to it right now, but there's a. It's actually got a General Motors part in it, which is actually kind of funny. <laughs> So this part right here, there's this part, and then there's a part in the trunk. It's actually made by General Motors, and it's the it's the pull down motor for this. Okay, so this yeah, so this is all this is all activated though. 
this is the tops manual, but this part would have been electronic. Yeah, it is. So like normally when it's all hooked up, you push this down, and it does. It, it, it is actually a part that came off the Cadillac. Okay. So the Cadillac used to put the trunk down, then it would have a motor that would pull that down. It's kind of a luxury feature, I guess. So, you know, you got the top. You've got the Recaro seats that have um, speakers built into it. That looks kind of funny. Um, and then they actually, so then ASC McLaren, they did all the interior and then they put a Kenwood stereo in it. Uh, I take it back. It was a Kenwood stereo and Kenwood speakers that they put into the Recaro seats. And then it had a whistle radar detector that they actually mounted under oh, the yeah. dash that you couldn't, <laughs> That's you couldn't cool. see. 80s technology, man. Yeah. Watch out. And, uh, That's pretty cool. So that, and then really Bruce McLaren racing, they got involved. And then they said, hey, we're, we'll help out with uh, the motor and we'll help out with a couple other aesthetic items. So you see like the wheels are ASC McLaren. They, you know, it says McLaren on them. And, you know, it's very 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to put on White Snake and, you know, this, this is still in the night. <laughs> and you should. Yeah. You and now, should. Now, the other, the, the other thing that uh, Bruce McLaren did is they rake this wind this windshield down. Yeah, that's so, very noticeable to yeah. me. When I look at this car, it's, it's lower so looking it, because of the rake. Yeah, I mean... It's and the whole car, it's got a nice nice low stance to it. Yeah, it, it, so uh, McLaren Racing, they come in, they lower the suspension. It's got Thunderbird. They, they pull out, I think, part of the suspension. They put Thunderbird suspension in it. Different struts and different shocks. Um, but, you know, when you look at it, it's a Fox body. You know, it's, it, it is... Got all the you know the characteristics of it. So what year is this? It's the '85. '85. I was gonna say because '86 they would have had the battery on this side, but in yeah, this that's, is that's why you're here, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> this is everything looks a little bit reversed here, guys, and that's I don't know if it's the uh, yeah, I, I know that the, the carburetor motors are the last the '85. Um, everything was yeah opposite side. '86 they moved the way, moved it to the driver's thank side. You for one of your videos because that's how I got the dash out of the car. Oh yeah. Yes, it's not as hard as it looks. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot of screws, but so it's little, only like six of them take the yeah, whole thing out. A little humor here, you know. <laughs> I got the car and I was like, you know, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I had my bubba teeth in and hey, man. I, I got the car and you know, I you know, my brother Mike, he's a very very skilled mechanic and he's worked on Ferraris and Rolls Royce and he's worked on, you know, almost every car you can think of. You know, worked in, at you know BMW and you know, but I, I'm, I'm the business guy. He's the, he's the mechanic aerospace guy. And so I lean, you know, he's offered to help me out my carburetor on and starting it up and, oh man, it's great. You know, it's going to be great. We're going to run it. Of course, you know, I knew something, you know, they always say, you listen to your car, right? Yeah. If the car didn't sound right, something's going on. And so I was like, you know, there's some blow by coming through the oil, <laughs> oil cap. <laughs> And it just, you know, didn't have any didn't have the, on it. Yeah. Just didn't sound Didn't have right. the pep in it. Something's going on here. So so we brought it up here, of course, and then we took this motor. Supposedly this motor had a different cam. So I guess, I think it's a... Uh, the it B has, cam. It was, it, a, was a B303. it was a B303. It was a B303, yep. A B303 cam. I read that this morning. So that's the, that's the, what we believe to be the original motor. I haven't matched up the numbers to it yet. Okay. But, uh, you know, what we found is we did a compression test after I had spent a lot of money and thought I was going to be in good shape, only to come to find out that one cylinder is no good. So, um, yep, we got a triple X block. Yeah, so it's uh, that's for sale. <laughs> so, anybody that needs a long block, the heads have actually been uh, cleaned and redone, but you know, we're trying to turn an 85 Mercury Capri ASC McLaren into a 1986 Fox body Mustang <laughs> powertrain and uh, this is what the car came with oh that's fun and can we just that's can good. we do a, yeah. a PSA oh my right gosh. now yeah people? exactly <laughs> don't you cut it please you don't cut it and cut with hedge clips. yeah so the oh man so the you know I guess from what I mean, and I, I'm no expert on this, and so I'll, I'll tell you what we know. So this is an 85 Mercury Capri, but it had carbureted fuel injection in it. Yeah, we pulled. So the and it obviously out. maybe something happened with that, and that with that, and that's why they put they took the intake and put a carburetor on yeah. it, right? And, and they then, get the wiring out of the way. And then they yeah, and then they just yeah. which is ridiculous. That's typical. Yeah. So that's our public service announcement. Don't do that. Don't cut wiring. Never do that. Yeah. Unless you're me and you cut it's it and just, resolder it. Yeah. And then uh, so <laughs> so then we 
we buy, I didn't have then to. Then we buy, we find you, and we buy your nice motor. Oh yeah, let's look at this. I missed her. Yeah, it was so head it's head not quite finished yet. I mean, we're just resealing it, Mike. Is what we're doing. Cleaned up well. Yeah. So and we'll wow. you know we'll dress all this yeah. stuff up. There's the there's the X if you look in your videos that you can. Yep. See that that's your. This that's is your, my motor. <laughs> oh no doubt. I, I I recognize it. So we switched out the oil pan. I, obviously you had a little problem with your drain plug. Yep. On that. So we switched out the oil pan. So you got some new gaskets in the water yeah, pump. Yeah, and we've re re resealed the whole front end of it. And everything's nice and nice and tight, man. It's everything's good. The end play in it was good. It's yeah, I, it's in good shape. well, I'm glad you guys verified that because yeah. I knew it was a yeah. strong motor. Uh, I yeah, knew it had it's in a, good shape. And so that's why we're just cleaning it up because it's in such good shape. So, but Sweet. this is, as you well know, this is an '86. So yep. '85 and '86 for Fox bodies apparently are outlier years. And '87 to '93, it's like, man, if you want to do anything to a Fox body. 87 and 93 it's just like the world has it for you yep the world has but, it ready for you but 86 is unique yeah. i found that out when i bought mine yeah. and when i decided to do a mass air conversion on it yeah which ended up being really a lot simpler than i thought it was going to yeah. be but nonetheless when i bought it i realized you know what this the 86s are unique um it's a one year only right. unique thing it's the first year of the fuel injection um so i think what we pistons? don't like one of the you know some of the questions really well. that we'll have for it for or for anybody that's watching this is that you know it seems to me, I guess the dash has changed, right? In 87, too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's when they went with the aero nose and everything. Last year, so the 4 I was 86. It seems like we yep. probably need, we need to stick with 86 yep. wiring. Yep, especially since the ECU I'm giving you guys is 86. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... And then we should be able to just plug and play with the instrument cluster, I hope. Yeah, and we know. talked to Doug, and you know, we reached out to Doug on North Texas, and he was saying that that dash... In the '86 is a V8 dash. Yeah. You know, so it should that should work. And so now we need a body harness for the car. We got to do the whole. The whole car. You got to do. Yep. But it shouldn't. It's not hard to do. No, it's not. Especially I mean, it's at separated. the point that it's at right now. So, um, so that's what we're looking for. So we've gotten two ECM harnesses. That between those two. We should be able to make one good one. What year of what came out of what here? So that's the I mean, that's, that's 85. 85. That's been cut. 85. Let me step on that. 80. This is 86 and 86. These are both 86. Oh, harnesses, beautiful. Yeah. Which okay. Were extremely hard to find. But this one's a yeah. little bit sketchy. You know, it looks like they've taken out the 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 firewall plug. Okay, guys, so all we're going to do is kind of help them identify some of the plugs a little bit. Nothing too major. I'm by all means no expert in these wiring harnesses at all. <laughs> but what we can do is take a stock running 86, even though I've done a um, uh, move the, all the wires to the inner fender, we can at least take a look at this and let them take some videos and pictures and get a comparison of what they've got and hopefully get their motor and everything wired up. Yeah, I mean, we can put um, it on the lift too if you need. Yep, put it on the lift. If you guys really, really, really need to, um, maybe not today, but we can always come back yeah. and take the inner fender well off so you can guys can really see the wipe. But I know what's going underneath those things, so we can well, having we can get a look at that. So having those 86 harnesses and then just seeing where things are lying in here yeah. is a tremendous help. It's a, it's a big yeah. Good, good. Really appreciate it, man. No, no, no. That's a cool car, man. It's worth it. It's worth getting it yeah, up to yeah. snuff. All right, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Ted, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Ho good luck on Defin your definite. Good luck uh, on your car. Very helpful information for us to work on the wiring and yeah. and uh, helpful Thanks, with man. the motor. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very I appreciate helpful, the uh, hospi man. hospitality. Good. And you got rack time. I got rack time. Right there. Yeah. So you're. Your, oh uh, man, see it paid for itself. <laughs> and your 86 motor is going to live on. I know, it's so cool to see it. In Look this at car. it. Yeah, the heart is going to a pretty cool yep. car. So you guys are going to have a nice rare machine here, it's man. It's a basket case now, but it's going to be nice when we're done with it. Yeah, I love it. There'll be a lot of smileage. Love it. <laughs> you know, smileage. A lot of yeah. smileage. ASC McLaren number one. That's where all the parts are at. And then one guy that worked for ASC bought up all the parts and put them in shipping containers. And he's in Florida. And he's got it all. He's got all of it. He's got the seats, 
$50 switch for the ton Yeah, of the manual. super rare parts like those super door panels. Rare. Take a core charge for each wheel, $250. The fancy pull rope. Yeah, supposedly the wheels are yep. from Italy, supposedly. Yep. Maybe Italy, Texas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if any of, your, any of your viewers have knows of where an 86 roller is, we need a body harness out of it. So we need an 86 roller that, you know, the car could be destroyed as long as that the harness is not molested. And what we're really looking for is a body harness right now. Yeah. So we need to yep. replace the entire bar, body harness in this car. Need so. 86, 86 roller, please. Yeah. Yeah, so anyone out there has, an, has one or even has a really, really good complete harness, body harness or engine harness, stuff like that. Roller, preferably, if you got one, let it. Let me know. Reach out to me, you know, hit me up on email or something, and let us know. These guys can totally use it, and this car is, definitely deserves to be saved. So, well, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, great. We'll see you again soon. You guys are close to me, so hopefully we'll. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Get together. Yep. You're see welcome uh, anytime, Mike. See how my motor over there is going. I'll come visit every once in a while. Yeah. Give it hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap it up. Hey, listen, that was pretty cool. Um, I got to see a car that is super rare. I don't know if you guys know how rare that car is. In 85, I believe they made 257 of those cars. A lot of them are gone, and a lot of people are probably gonna have an opportunity to see them unless you're around super rare cars, Barrett Jackson and uh, Beecham Auto, stuff like that. So it's kind of rare to see a car like that that is built off the box platform, so that's kind of cool. So I appreciate Ted, Ted and Mike letting me out there to see their shop, bring me into their spot, and um, give me an opportunity to kind of give them a hand. Um, I think they can use <laughs> help from much, much more professional than myself. But um, yeah, um, that's gonna wrap this up, guys. So again, thank you for watching. Don't worry, we do have more to come. Uh, this is not gonna be every video now. We're gonna be doing a lot more how-tos, kind of go back to the roots. Um, I got a lot of work to be doing on this car, a lot of basic style, style work, um, but uh, more stuff to get ready for the on three turbo kit that should be coming soon. On three turbo is coming soon. I promise. Uh, we're gonna kick this thing up probably before we get a chance to break in all the miles in it. So that's awesome. There's a lot more to come, guys. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some more videos like this um, on other cars, other people that I meet that have box bikes and maybe have a story to tell. That's what I'm here for, and I'm having a blast doing it. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Take care. <laughs>